Now in the next several lessons, we're going to be learning about the concentration camps that were built in Germany as well as other camps uh, that were built in areas that the Nazis captured. And, and obviously by this time, you've been taught something about the camps where six million Jews were killed. But many people don't know that the Nazis also killed an additional five million people. So a total of 11 million people. But who were these other five million people? The camps that aren't so famous, they originally weren't built for Jews. This camp system, it, this will then also include the, uh, the Jewish camps, they were designated as a place for the Nazi party to, pu to put people who they felt weakened their version of the perfect society, as well as put people who were outspoken in their opposition to Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party. Now, before we talk about the origins of these camps and the various groups who were taken to these camps, I think it's fitting that we read a famous quote. Now, this quote comes from Martin Niemöller. He was a Protestant pastor who was an outspoken critic of Adolf Hitler. Now, he eventually spent seven years as a prisoner in a Nazi concentration camp. And he said, first they came for the socialist, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. And then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. The message is that it is imperative that in order to have a free society, every individual, I mean every individual, has an obligation to stand up for the rights of all members of a society, even those members that you don't agree with. Now, to understand, um, in order to make sense of why the camps were built by Hitler's Nazi, it's necessary to understand Hitler's worldview or his major goals. Now, Hitler had two main goals. His first goal was to expand the territory that was controlled by Germany. The second goal was to purify what he called the Aryan race. He wanted to eliminate any person who he felt was not Aryan or any Aryans who were not supportive of the Nazi party. So the only way these camps are going to make sense is if you understand these two goals. Again, one, expand the territory that was controlled by Germany, and number two, purifying the Aryan race. <laughs>